being promised a clear sky tonight. Plan is to shoot the Crescent Nebula. I'm hoping the weather forecast is right. At the moment, it's not looking promising. However, I do trust them. Don't you? Anyway, let's do this and welcome to Astro Peaks. Hi there and welcome to the channel. So yep, tonight I'm hoping to image the Crescent Nebula up in Cygnus. It's going to be in the west behind me here. I've got a great north, east, northwest view. Not much of a south view so when I come to image Orion and, the, and other objects like the uh, Rosette Nebula it becomes a little bit of a challenge. However, there's plenty for me to image uh, from a garden here in the East Midlands. Yep, so tonight imaging the Crescent Nebula going to be using my um, Newtonian 150 PDS along with the mighty 26C one shot colour camera from Altair. If you haven't you got to check this camera out it's been absolutely incredible the image resolution the noise management is fantastic in this camera. To help bring out the detail I'm going to be using the Optolong L Extreme filter again a must for anyone who's doing their in emission, emission imaging with a one shot colour camera. So I'm going to talk you through a little bit about the process, what I'm going to go through, and then hopefully at the end of it, have a great image to share with you. So let's get into it. So here we are in Stellarium. This is a fantastic free piece of software if you manage to download it. I use it a lot to uh, help with my framing of my, of my imaging sessions. I have all the telescopes I've got programmed into the software along with all the cameras. So I have three cameras programmed in. I've got my Altair 26C, the 183C from Altair, and also my Nikon D750. And as you can see, as I cycle through the different sensors, it shows you what your field of view will look like um, with any particular uh, telescope. At the moment, I've got it set on my red cap. So if I change this to my um, Newtonian that I plan to use tonight, you can see here the field of view that I'm hoping to get. Um, it's got a nice bit of the emission nebula in the corner, so it gives the, the framing some lovely depth. If I changed it to the 183, it'd give you a really, really close in crop, um, which would be nice, but like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that I can get some nice bit of the emission nebula also captured into the corner. Uh, if you've got uh, reducers, you can also put these in. So with my William Optics, GT81, I've got the William Optics 0.8 reducer. It'll show you again what the field of view will look like. And if you wasn't aware to do that, you simply click on the spanner here. In the lenses, you put your, where your reducer is. Obviously the sensor is for all your cameras and the telescope is where you put all your different telescopes. It's really, really easy to do. And I find it invaluable for when you're planning your imaging session. So I'm just gonna flick back around to the Newtonian and the uh, no reducer on that. So yeah, it's going to frame the image lovely. It's going to be nice and centered. And what I do here from, from this point on is when I've got the framing I like, I take the on date right ascension and declination information and I'll put that into the uh, plate solving software built within Astrophotography tool. So it'll, it'll basically, it will plate solve to exactly where, where it shows here. So if you wanted to slightly offset it, for example, you click in the center, it will pick a star and it will give you the, the, the appropriate coordinates for the R, for the on date uh, setting there. So if you wanted to offset it a little bit or move it around how you want, uh, find a star roughly in the center and then your plate solved to that point there. But what I want to try and do on this one is get, get the Crescent Nebula smack bang in the middle and a nice bit of the emission nebula there. So what I'm going to do now is just take the coordinates from here and go and uh, go back out into the garden and plan my session. So not quite going to reveal the image yet. I'd just like to just briefly talk around the session last night. It went really, really well. The, the scene was really good. So I had nice black guiding. 
um, I didn't have any clouds come over so I had a good good four hours on this target which I managed to do five minute subs um, overall really pleased with the outcome it was edited in PixInsight and just tweaked a little bit in Photoshop and used the Topaz denoise just to remove any noise but there was hardly any the, the Altair 26C is absolutely fantastic for man, no, uh, noise management so I'd just like to say thank you for watching the video hope you enjoyed it I hope you enjoy the photo that's about to be revealed and I'd just like to wish you all clear skies and looking forward to seeing you on the next video thanks very much